What's up gamers? This is a video showing off my Polk Audio speakers. I, these are the M10s. I just picked these things up on eBay for a ridiculously good price. Um, normally the set is 200 bucks. I got for 50 bucks, so can't really argue with that. Now what you're going to hear is a, a sample of these speakers. Now the problem with a lot of people is they use ridiculously crappy microphones to uh, record these speakers. What you're going to hear is actually these speakers. I took off the one grill so you can see. This is a tweeter, a subwoofer, and I guess a mid-range or whatever. I don't really know all the speaker lingo, but uh, these were recommended by a friend of mine. Uh, Polk Audio is ridiculously good. If you see them from the side, they're ridiculously small compared to the speakers I was using. And of course my PlayStation 3 is on top of them. Uh, yes, that PS3 is not worthy to be on top. So, what you see here of course is my microphone. This is the Yeti. Um, it's set to stereo. It's in front of the speakers as you can see. And it's pretty much centered between the two, I would say. And they're going there's a USB cord that runs of course into my MacBook Air so my MacBook Air is going to be recording in stereo the sound from the microphone coming from the speaker so I'm gonna cut the microphone so all you're gonna hear from now on is the uh, sound of the speakers and let me tell you they're they're really good um, so yeah enjoy
so that's basically it guys um, let me know what you guys think of these speakers but um, I mean look it'll never be the same as listening to this thing in person um, you know it, it really is a very good speaker system and I, I think that it was definitely well worth the money I mean Moran's is a very good brand of receiver uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but this is the SR7200. This is actually a 10-year-old receiver. Um, it has a fiber channel going into my gaming rig. It does not support HDMI or any of that new stuff, but uh, for the most part, it's a ridiculously good receiver. Um, you know, when this thing first came out, I believe it was over a grand. But uh, yeah, it's still you could still get one for about 250 bucks used. So they definitely. Um, held their value uh, I mean that's still more expensive than a lot of newer ones made today and you know it, it, Marantz is really a very high-end receiver uh, company and they make other stuff too I believe but yeah I'm actually surprised at how well the microphone is um, it, it definitely picks up the audio and uh, you know I have my headphones plugged into it and one of the benefits is I can hear the music from this being outputted through my uh, headphones so I was able to hear it live and can adjust audio and stuff but yeah to take note to things it has a very good tweeter that's what that is up there um, it has of course the subwoofer and then uh, the regular speaker they're definitely well built uh, they can definitely take a, a, a very like I can really make the whole house hear these speakers um, these are 100 watt speakers <laughs> each so uh, this is a 650 watt receiver which is pretty good so um, I mean I, I guess one day what I plan on doing um, when I get my apartment so I'm gonna get three more of these speakers and I'm gonna use them as surround sound speakers because from what I've heard there a lot of people do it that way and I think it's definitely a good way to go so yeah take care guys look out for future content